Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be talking about MGT6203 or Data Analytics in Business course in Georgia Tech. This is part of your advanced core requirement section of your OMSA program, or if you're in the EDX program for the MicroMaster, this is the third program that you have to pass. This is a course that you should definitely take with an accompanying class, maybe regression analysis. So if you're planning to take this course, take regression analysis or 6501 with this course. I think it's definitely manageable with the second class. Unless you're planning to take this in summer, then this is probably all you need. So these are the modules that you're going to be learning in this course. So you're going to be learning the basic module, which consists of linear and logistical regression, kind of give, give you a high overview of what they are. Then you will move on to finance, then marketing, and then operation management. So we have four homework uh, in this course, which I'll be talking about in the next slide. And each of these modules will have one homework accompanying it. And so this is the grading structure. We have 10 self-assessment quizzes, which is worth 15%. Four homework assignments, which is worth 40%. For the homework, you have the coding and also quiz. Uh, the quiz is actually open book, and you are able to kind of find answers very easily from, you know, lecture transcripts or the PowerPoint slides. Uh, the coding part, though, is peer review based. You probably know how much I hate peer review if you have seen my previous videos. Uh, if you haven't, uh, well, I hate them. The reason why, because most of the people that is giving you less points doesn't necessarily have explain as to why they're doing it, then you have to go through the whole process of having to resubmit for grading from a TA, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on, on the homework and the content of your homework. The quiz part of the homework is worth 40%, like in a 100% scale in, in a given homework, 40% is your quizzes and 60% is that computation, which is sort of like the peer review based uh, assessment. Then you have one group project. I'll kind of discuss more about the group project in the next slide. Uh, we have a midterm part one. So this part one is theory based. Uh, and the first midterm you have contents from week one through six. Um, so both of these uh, theory and computation is at, you know, adds up to like 12 percentage of your final grade. The theory is pretty much multiple choices. Uh, you get one sided cheat sheet for the first midterm. So what that means is you have like a, a blank sheet of paper that on the front end of the paper, you can fill stuff in with some notes that you want to kind of remember uh, during the exam if you tend to forget them. And then the computation part is actually just coding and it is an open book, which is great. So you have a full one week to finish this uh, midterm. So uh, it, it is pretty easy and um, I felt like it was pretty easy uh, just because I have taken seven or so courses. So I feel like this class was very easy comparatively. And then in the summer, there's only a theory based final exam. So it's cumulative and it's worth eight percentage. But if you're to take this course in like a regular semester, uh, then, then you might have a theory and a computation for your final exam. Now let's talk about group projects. So group project is sometimes fun and sometimes the worst experience you will ever have in a course. So the so what they expect from this group project is like sort of a finance based project. So for example, what I did for our group project was we analyzed how the you know the gun manufacturer's stocks get impacted based on a, a mass shooting event. So you need to go to different websites like Kaggle or some other, you know, stock portfolio extract type of, you know, library to, to do this project. You can have about four to five members per group. Once you form your group, these are sort of like your deliverables that you have to do as a group. You have to do a project proposal, which is about one to two pages, if I remember correctly the project progress report and presentation. So the presentation, it needs to be four to five minutes. It, it just needs to be done by one person in your group. Then you have a final report, which is 10 to 12 pages. It sounds crazy, but I felt like it's very easy to, to achieve that. Like our final report was like 24 pages or something like that. And then you also have a final presentation, which needs to be 10 to 12 minutes and every single member of your group has to present. Finally, you have to submit all deliverables through uh, Canvas for grading purposes and also through GitHub for the purpose of for the TA to kind of review it uh, if they needed to kind of look at all the, you know, the version history, who is committing to what and, you know, what part of the project is being done by who. Uh, they only look at that if someone in your team say like, hey, this person is not doing any work. 
Finally, I'm just going to give you some tips as far as how you can get an A in this course. And these are some basic tips I kind of give in all my videos. Uh, and again, this is a very easy course, so I don't really think you're going to be struggling in this course as long as you kind of keep up with these tips. The first one is don't wait until last minute. I feel like a lot of people have a tendency to wait until the day before a submission or, or assignment due to, to get work done. I tend to work on it the day it releases. So um, I work full time. I'm a senior consultant. I work about you know 50 to 60 hours per week, and I still manage to find time every day to do my homework or to actually go through the, the modules to make sure I finish my homework before, way before it's due. Listen to the lecture videos like in 2x speed before the exam. It does help for the theory part. Uh, I highly recommend it. I don't. I didn't think theory was that difficult. Uh, again, because I have taken six or seven courses prior to this class, so I have a lot of knowledge in in the content that they were presenting in this uh, course. Start the computation as early as possible. So this is what I mean with this point is for the exam and also for uh, for the homework as well. Uh, computational usually have like the highest percentage of grade and so you don't you want to make sure that you finish it in time for the exam you have a full week and it's open book like i mentioned already so make sure you get that done before you focus on the theory find reliable teammates and it's this is very difficult to do uh, so there's a discussion sort of thread that they post in piazza that lists a bunch of people with uh, you know their backgrounds and all this other stuff you have to nitpick and you know, kind of trust your gut feeling. Uh, sometimes you might have members that doesn't want to listen to you or doesn't want to produce the same results as you. Uh, so you have to make sure you have a stern project manager in your group that can tell that person like, hey, listen, this is what we need to do. And this is what we need to deliver. So again, have group products are a good thing and a, or a bad thing depending on your members. And then meet with those group members at least once a week that is very important to do so you can make sure that you guys are coming together to show what you have done for the week and also be ready for the 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 um, deliverables like i mentioned these deliverables right here for the proposal uh, progress report final report all of them are like in the matter of one to two weeks uh, space so you have to be on top of your game guys Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe. I do videos like this um, and I have a full playlist of all the courses that I have taken so far, uh, which will be listed down below. Again, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Don't forget to send me some money through Venmo or Cash App. Bye.